Okay, today we're inside Photoshop CS5 and today what we're going to be doing is just looking at how you can improve those um, those holiday snaps to make them a bit more punchy and a bit more dramatic. Um, this photo was taken in Spain, uh, not by me, this was uh, loaned by a friend, Ali Prentice, uh, who's also a, a photographer and student in Coventry as well. Uh, so this is the image we'll be using today. Obviously at the moment it's a bit flat, so there's not a lot of detail uh, in the sky. Um, so we're going to look at how we can uh, just adjust this and improve on this. So we're going to start right over here in the in the right hand palette, in the adjustments, and we're going to click on Levels. And as normal, or normal we're just going to drag them in slightly just to, to get the full range of tones in there. So just to contrast a little bit. Okay, and this is all done to uh, to uh, personal taste, so we can adjust it more if you wanted to. Or, uh, that's fine for now. Okay, now we're going to, next to levels is the curves, we're just going to click on that and adjust the curves. Apologies for the squeaky chair. We're just going to drag it down into the normal shape. So, hmm. Just going to drag it down into normal S shape and just change our blending mode to luminosity there. Okay, so now we've got a bit more contrast in there, uh, it's, looking, it's looking less flat. Uh, the greys at the bottom of here have come out. Um, then we're just going to just slightly adjust the contrast a little bit, just up there and just down the brightness slightly. Okay, and now. Uh, just to give it a bit more, uh, a process that I like doing is cross-processing. Uh, some of you may be aware of this, where it's an old film technique. You can uh, do some research into it. I'm not going to go into it in depth now. Um, but yeah, uh, so to do that, we're just going to add another curves adjustment layer. Hop over to the red channel. And just bring this bottom one down here. And then just bring this one across. And this very top one into the middle there. And we're going to hop over to the blue channel. Just drag, don't add any points, just drag these corner ones up and down. Then green, two points in, just drag this one up slightly, and this one down. Okay, and there we are. Now we've kind of lost a lot of. Uh, that's rubbish. Let's put that back. Just see if this change this brings back some of that sky. Not really. No, that's cool. That's fine. Give that a tweak. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is just add a solid color uh, fill. And the number you're going to type is E1FF00. That's E1FF00. Just change the opacity down to 10%. I'm just going to play with this a little bit more as well. We make it a bit more, a bit darker and less yellow. Give them a bit more blue in the shadow. Less yellow again. Sorry, red. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so that's given us uh, this cross-process look that we now have. Um, Again, the horizon is uh, not totally straight, so we're just going to hop, bring over to our palette on the left here. Yeah, we're going to click on the the eyedrop tool, click and hold, and then we want the ruler. Uh, this is a feature new in CS5. There we go. So we're just going to straighten up the horizon. Might take a couple of uh, attempts before we can get it spot on. Then I'm just going to click the straighten button up here. And it's taking its time on this one. Let's try it again. There we go, just click straighten. Boom. Mm. Better, but it's not quite there. It can take a couple of attempts uh, to get this uh, to get this spot on. Let's try that. Okay, no, I'm quite happy with that. And then obviously we're just going to crop it down to get rid of uh, these borders. Or since you're in CS5, you can probably, you definitely can just auto fill them in if you if you wanted to. Um, it's not too bad. 
And there we have it, we have a cross-processed image with a bit more punch to it uh, than we did on the original.